Hi, welcome to my new machine here. It says in my Konki Ubuntu 16.10, but actually we're on the Budgie Remix. So uh, I've posted already an, an article or some screenshots about uh, the system. It looks very promising. There are still some issues with uh, tools here. The, the, the icons which are on top here, I really want them, want them back. Uh, let's see now, I haven't seen it before, but there are two of these icons here. So there are things still to, to consider to uh, change. But overall, it feels good. Um, there is only a few issues uh, that are little crashes and one major crash that I had yesterday. Mid-sentence typing something on Google Plus and poof, I was logged off and had to log on again. So it's a bit uh, tricky yet. But uh, as you know, Budgie is, is it quite a beautiful uh, desktop environment. You can have it on Arch, you can have it on Solus. So this time we have it on Ubuntu 16.10. So it also inherits any problem uh, of Ubuntu 16.10. It's still a recent release, so it still has some issues as normal. But um, it has a quite a good look, as you can see. Um, yes, I always start with the screen fetch, otherwise I'll get too much questions later. So uh, what it doesn't show the screen fetch is that we are looking at some icons and what are the icons so arc dark it's mentioned but it's arc darker here so this is the reality arc dark surf and breeze dark which kind of looks like this uh, two times now so let's kill this one and let's kill this one so i've been all gone blah, i've gone over all the icons that uh, we have and there are, let's go like this, Surfing Orange, and this is Surfing Majestic, Surfing Evil Pop, so I tried the icons to, to merge two kind of icons together, Surf Breeze Dark, Idem Dito, so uh, coming from Plasma, KDA, Arch Blue, and Arc folders with Surfing and the normal standard Surfing. Side the vertex. Yeah, some of these are not available, meaning Sadi Polo is a script that ran. So I've took uh, some colors, you just type in three colors, copy paste it, run the script, and then you get different kind of icons. So you see more than you, than you than normally available. So the Sadi icons are on SourceForge, and these are all attempts to create new desktops, complete desktops with a specific coloring as you can see now to see Santa Claus red brick and we're going over all of the creations orange tomato mist lots of possibilities Many scripts are included in the Sardi icon set, so you can color it yourself. I could have delivered you PNGs, you, can, you can't change one thing. I will keep providing you with SVGs, and SVGs is just a text. You can change the text, you can just say, I don't want white icons like this one I'm showing you. I want to have this kind of color, this kind of color, this kind of color. It's all the same icon but it's just for, for instance, a wallpaper from the matrix and you get green kind of uh, icons. This is for the wallpaper of Tron. So we changed it to Tron colors. Anything is possible really with the Sardi icons. As you can see, there are a lot of possibilities. For uh, Bodgy Remix, nothing had to change. Uh, just one icon I'm gonna make for these guys. A distributor logo for Bodgy Remix has not been created yet. And it is uh, going to be made soon and added to the collection. And now we are at the first one, Sardi. So, <coughs> Overall feel is, is okay, you know the budgie panels, so it's the same. 
um, issues. Yes, there are issues. For instance, what I'm really am annoyed about is any program that has a uh, panel icon is not included. So variety, I don't see the icon. Kazam, I don't see the icon. Um, then is Redshift, for instance, I don't see the icon. So no, no panel icons, no way to go to the preferences of these programs. So that's a bit um, tricky. I've posted a comment and asked guys, can what can I do to fix this? So we'll see if it's if it is fixable. Um, let's have a look at some settings. So you saw the files already, and that's all normal. Yeah, just the terminal. Spotify just works. This is the settings. So a normal Ubuntu kind of layout and everything is, is nice in there. Everything works. But remember the most of the things are in this panel here. So you can install and change, not install, but change things here. This is probably the place where you be most. And you can change this panel any way you want. You can add little applets to it. So that's, I think, the place you'll be more. And those are all programs. So this is just the standard normal layout of a menu. And everything just looks great. So what I'll do, this one, the budget welcome, I'll make another icon for it. So a specific uh, uh, logo for budget since this icon here is this, the, the the icon you saw here is a standard icon this this swirl from debian but i have the feeling that um, well this is should be the proper icon this is the budgie remix icon so i'm gonna make this one and not link to this debian swirl what was interesting is the default settings you can restore reset budgie panel something i can try and see if it, it fixes things so no, not really and then I can change from arc design to material design I installed this already to spare some time in our possibilities I think they could uh, that's a nice nice feature to be able to switch between one of the two and uh, this software center well if you see, if you look at the Ubuntu 16.10, which I recently did, it was also this kind of layout. So they are inheriting the same version, I guess, from the others. So it's it's it's, it's a beautiful way to, to look. So now we're having other icons. Let's have a look what icons we have here. What it's called. Uh, paper. So a lot of possibilities here paper icon I think it's normally mocha kind of look that we get standard and here you see already the new logo so it's this kind of logo we would like to have also in Sardi and in Surfin which are being developed soon so that's about it I think um, so it's been a bit a bit sad that I can't give you any positive news so the crashes really are not the way it's supposed to be but, um, well, it will be soon fixed, I suppose. So, just I'm really going to keep this uh, uh, release on my top shelf, let's say. It's really looking quite good. And um, I know I love also the Budgie on Arch or on Solus. So, Budgie is quite nice release and quite nice uh, desktop. So, um, give it a try if it is a little bit more stable. Bye for now.